Let me ask you something. What if a client messages on your WhatsApp and you're simply busy sleeping or maybe offline? Most businesses reply late and some of them don't reply to the customers and that's where you're losing them all. Now imagine this, an AI powered WhatsApp chatbot links to your phone number, replies to your customers 24 seven, knows everything about your business and the best part, it replies as if you are talking to your customers. Sound interesting, right? In today's video, we are going to build a similar chatbot using NA10 and Twilio and I'm going to guide you step by step on how you can achieve this. And this is the best part. You don't need to purchase a number. If you have your own locally purchased number, you can use it and you can link that chatbot for free to that number. Normally platforms don't allow this, but in this video, we are going to learn step by step on how you can link a chatbot to your local number and that too completely legally and completely free. No theories, no shortcuts are being sold. We'll build it step by step all together in this video. Let's get started. All right. So for this process, what we'll need is NA10, the basics for our automation, either self hosted or free plan will work. The second is the Twilio account for registering our custom WhatsApp sender. And the third and the very important step is the local registered number for your business that we'll be linking with the chatbot. Okay, after you're sorted with all the prerequisites, head towards Twilio and uh, I believe you have your number ready and make sure you haven't registered it anywhere on WhatsApp, neither on the WhatsApp personal nor on the WhatsApp business. Um, then you need a Twilio account. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just go to Twilio.com and click on sign up and you will have your account ready. Before moving ahead, ensure that you have made a small top up to your account. What a top up means is usually when you make a, when you create a Twilio account, it's uh, signed up for free. So you have a free trial account where you get some $15 of credits. Um, in order to use this custom WhatsApp sender feature, you need to make a small top up to your account. Uh, you can make it through uh, by going into user settings and going into billing section. I'm not going to cover uh, that part into this video, but it's pretty simple. Uh, just a small amount, maybe $10 or $15 would work and will help you out to get things started. Okay. So after you have, you have made uh, the payment, you need to go to messages, then you need to go to senders and you need to go to WhatsApp senders. Please note that you always have an option to, you know, buy a phone number from Twilio. But as we all know that uh, Twilio only has US based and um, I believe Australia based numbers for Indian users, you need to make a custom payment. Like as I told you, a small top up of $10 or $15 and then you'll be able to move further with your custom sender. Okay. So we'll not be purchasing a number in this video. We as uh, our motive here is to register a custom number that we already have that we have already purchased for our business, right? So click on WhatsApp senders and uh, here you'll have uh, an interface like this for uh, the free signed up uh, people. Uh, you'll not be able to see this button over here. Once you have made the top up, uh, you'll have this button ready over here. Click on create new sender. Once you add the senders tab, uh, you'll have to select a phone number to register. You will have two options, uh, whether to uh, whether to select uh, Twilio's phone number or to select your own phone number. So click on the own phone number tab and uh, add your number over here. Once you've done that, click on continue. Then you'll have to link your WhatsApp business account to your number. Uh, basically, this requires Meta Suite account to be active. So if you don't have one, this will help you out to uh, create one step by step. So you don't have to worry about it. Click on continue with Facebook. Uh, you'll have a pop up like this. Click on continue. Select the business uh, asset. Basically, again, the meta business suite thing, uh, account, create a WhatsApp business account. Okay. Now, please take care of the name that you will be putting here for your asset. Uh, usually it approves any kind of name. Let's say, uh, any testing 
thing it approves that name but please remember that uh, meta actually verifies the name of your asset and until and unless it's verified it does not allow you to use that number for um, messaging purposes uh, and the verification process is quite long if you have a fancy name let's say if i use the name testing with a capital t uh, that is categorized as a fancy name by meta i know it's such a very uh, illogical thing but trust me keep your name in small characters don't use any extra characters or any any other things like that so i'll be naming my profile as brain it ai test simply all small no spaces no special characters okay choose a category you can choose any of the category if you are really implementing this for your business you can choose your respective category uh, i'll keep my website optional the same way show more options you can add your business description if you want click on next uh once you're here it'll uh, it'll ask you to add your whatsapp phone number so here here you'll have two options use a display name and add a new number click on add a new number since i am based out of india my number is an indian number so i'll put my number over here once you put your number you'll have to click on next in order to get an otp on your number and uh, to get your number verified by meta so after you have verified your number with otp uh, you'll you'll see a message of your account is connected to twilio incorporated and uh, just don't tweak any of these check boxes over here click on finish and you'll have your account connected uh, your business account connected with twilio and you're all set for message sharing uh, a quick note which i would like to share with you guys that sometimes meta server might uh, you know test your patience out really badly okay so many a times you'll see that uh, you'll get an error pop up uh, about um, a different whatsapp business account being connected or expectation of a different whatsapp business account or any kind of server error might occur uh, don't panic or don't get irritated just try it again in like an hour or so and you'll get it through okay once you are there so <clears throat> just click on edit sender click on edit senders and you'll have a message endpoint configuration thing over here let me explain you what this is exactly so um, what twilio expects is whenever a message is arrived on your number what it will do is it will connect to this uh, webhook link over here and it will transfer it to the node or to the automation that we'll be building or we'll be connecting with that webhook okay so if i send hi on the number then the webhook will get that message and will transfer it to our automation okay and there all the processing will be done okay so we'll have to set this uh, i'll tell you how you can set this up but uh, for now the twilio part is all done so let's head towards our automation and as you can see it's a very simple three-step automation but with endless possibilities trust me uh it's it's a plain canvas okay you can add n number of nodes and n number of uh, applications over here and you can make your chatbot like a dynamic assistant okay so i'm currently using a chatbot where i have attached it with my calendar so whenever someone wants to like book a meeting with me so they they have a conversation with a chatbot my chatbot checks my calendar available dates and then it books uh, a meeting with them on its own okay so just uh, a message away and uh, let me know if you need that automation i'll make a, make a separate video on that okay so the webhook link that we were talking about on the twilio interface we'll get that link from here okay so as we know that uh, regardless of what version of n you have whether you have a self-hosted or um, let's say a free plan or a paid plan you have the twilio node always available over here as you can see so you have two call actions whether you can make a call or you can send an sms whatsapp message so i have uh, connected to that okay um then what you'll have to do is once you have that trigger ready you'll have to get your credentials done i'll tell you how you can get your credentials done over here okay so <clears throat> so in order to set your credentials all you need to do is to go to the dashboard 
of your Twilio account. Once you're here, you need to copy this account SID and auth token and paste it here. So paste the SID and auth token here and click save. That's it. Uh, this is all you need to do for um, setting up the account with N10. Uh, right now, I'm not doing this because I have already set up my account, but it's super, super simple. Just copy SID, paste it there, copy auth token, paste it there and you're done. Okay. Once you are done with uh, all, all the setup, set up the trigger on new SMS. So when you'll click this drop down, you'll have two options new sms and new call we don't need call we need sms okay so click on uh, new sms and copy the webhook urls like this is a post request and uh, as we know we are being instructed to have a post request over here as well see so just copy the test url for the start and later when we'll be shifting um, the chatbot to production level we'll copy the production um, URL and paste it over here. Okay. Fallback for incoming messages also replace it with the uh, test webhook. You don't have to change anything else over here. If you want, if you are setting it up for your business, you can change all these details. And don't forget to click, uh, just click on this button. Let me show you which button I'm talking about. Click on update WhatsApp sender button. Okay. Uh, if you don't, if you forget this, then the changes might not get saved get back to the twilio trigger and here you have all the things ready that's it you don't have to uh, do anything much over here uh, i've connected an open ai node over here which i have strictly uh, like given few instructions how to like have a conversation with the user i've provided few guardrails as you can see let me let me zoom it a bit so that you can have a clear view so as you can read over here, I have provided few guardrails over here, which is very, very important because uh, many a times what happens is uh, there are no serious clients talking to your chatbot. Usually there are few people who have uh, who have to tingle the chatbot and who have to put in some bad things like asking it about politics and religion stuff like that so i have strictly asked the chatbot not to get involved into such things and all I have asked it to be polite and gentle while answering and um, yeah so talking about how you can give the information of your business to your chatbot for that purposes i have used openai's uh, vector db and i'll show you in this video how you can set that up so as you can see the file search i have uh, added the vector store id in the format so this is the vector store which i've set for my business and uh, i've set the max result to 20 you can sorry you can do that too App options of parallel tool calls this is very useful when you are you know uh like aggregating all the other tools with your chatbot so let's say you have your calendar tool ready and you need to integrate it with your chatbot then what the chatbot is going to do is it will parallelly call the calendar tool while having a conversation with the user so let's say a user asks about hey i need to book a calendar then it will parallelly search and uh, get the available tool but that's a different video story if you want you can comment it below back to our automation and then we are simply sending our uh, response plain and simple okay all right so let's set the open as vector db that i was talking about so head towards the uh, api platform of openai there you'll find this interface over here click on storage and then you will find two tabs namely files and vector stores click on vector stores and uh, there as you can see i have made an assistant uh, i have made a vector store called whatsapp assistant brain it just just gave it a name and uh, here you can click on add files and, and you can uh, add any kind there, of as you can see like, i have files related to a business uh, let's say a pdf or a document a i created a markdown file which had all the information of my business and, uh, and uh, then i uploaded here it you can over click. here and uh, when you're done with your vector database it's it's super super simple and, i'll uh, just demonstrate you once how you can do this so let's say if I have to uh, a vector store give this called PDF over WhatsApp here, I'll just it. click just, on add just and I'll just upload it over here. And, uh, For now, I'll cancel it out. Once you're done with this process, click on the ID, copy it, and then 
head towards our automation and uh, under the vector store id just paste it in the double quotes okay if you want multiple you can just uh, give it give a comma and you can paste it over here so what this will do is this will allow our chatbot slash agent to surf through multiple vector databases and get the relevant information but for now we'll uh, go with one vector database please note that uh, the format is very very important if you mess up with the format then you might not be able to get the relative information and your ai agent might mess up okay so once you are done click on save and all you need to do is to click on execute workflow and your whatsapp chatbot link to your whatsapp number is all ready mm -hmm. so to test it out what we'll do is we'll click on execute workflow and we'll parallelly message our whatsapp chatbot and let's see uh, whether it replies to us or not and uh, here you can see my screen i'm hey how are you okay let's see so it's uh, processing and you can see we have received our uh, response as hey i'm brain brain bored i'm doing great thanks for asking um i asked it to like keep a pun or humorous uh, tone would you like information about yes tell me about past projects so like we'll have to click on execute again in order to get things done And as you can see, we have received all the information related to the previous projects that we have delivered, uh, like in the healthcare, in the real estate, manufacturing side, marketing side, and the productivity side. So, um, yeah, uh, this was this was the chatbot. You can integrate it for your business, and the best part is feeding your information uh, into the chatbot will help you uh, get like reply to a customers in accordance to what you want them to know so this was the way you can connect your number with your whatsapp chatbot just remember this is the start and you can integrate multiple applications and multiple use cases to your chatbot in order to make it more advanced if you want more such videos or you want an advanced version of this whatsapp chatbot do comment below and and i'll make a separate video on this until next time subscribe to brain it for more such content Bye bye